Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you this early afternoon, I guess you could say. And sorry that my hair's a little messy. I just, yeah, it got a little messy. So, because of me sleeping hard on it last night. So, and to this morning, of course. So, I'm returning to you for another Megadeth album review. This is going to be their 12th studio album review for the 12th Marathon Studio Album Reviews that I'm doing. I only got three more after this, so after listening to this, three or four more, I might re-review The Sick, The Dying, and The Dead. I, I haven't decided yet, but it's a possibility. So yeah, this is for Endgame, the 12th studio album I'm going to be reviewing for you guys. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for all 11 songs, which has a side one and side two for this album. And let you know my thoughts on this uh, Endgame album by Megadeth. So let's dive into their 2009 album. Now, the first song is Dialectic uh, Chaos Instrumental. And that's a pretty strong instrumental. I really like this. Um, I like the guitar riffs. The solos for the guitars are pretty strong. Um, and this song rocks. It's a great opener to how it, the album is starting off, and I'll give it a 5 out of 5. This was a pretty strong track, for sure. I really enjoyed this 2 minute and 25 second song, which was an instrumental, of course. So, yeah. This Day We Fight is a solid track. I don't know if I'm feeling for Dave Mustaine's vocals too much, but I think it's alright for what it is. Uh, some of his vocals can get a little angsty and aggressive at times, but it does sound solid. It, it's good in its own way. So I'll give it a 4.5 out of 5 for this one. And the instrumentation in it is pretty strong. That's the good thing about the track, the instrumentation. So, yeah, for the guitars and drum work, of course. So I really like the verses some of the time and... Some of the chorus can be a little on the safe side, in my opinion. So 4.5 out of 5. 44 Minutes was a solid track. Wasn't sure if I was feeling for this one at first, with how Dave Mustaine was singing the song. But I think it did alright in its own way. Instrumental wise and all that, with the guitars and drum work, was pretty strong. And just how it's executing with the performance of the track it's good in its own way so 4.5 out of 5 1320 is a pretty strong track it definitely rocks for sure i really like this song um it's got great vocals from dave mustaine in this one and basically the instrumentation in it is pretty strong so i really enjoyed this song and sorry my eyes were getting to me because i did wake up a few hours ago so yeah, uh, 5 out of 5 for 1320, 1320 is what it's called, uh, I'm going to call it 1320 of course, because um, that's how it is or whatever, so yeah, Bite the Hand was a pretty strong track, really enjoyed this one, um, Dave Mustaine's vocal performance in this is pretty good in the verses and the chorus. Just the way he's singing aggressively sounds really good. Um, and just the way the guitars and drum work are playing out sounds pretty strong. So I'll give it another 5 out of 5 for this one because I really enjoyed this track. And the final song on the side 1 edition is Bodies. And that was solid. It has some on the fence lyrics with me with how Dave Mustaine is singing the track. But I think it's alright for what it went for, so 4.5 out of 5. Instrumentally, it's pretty strong, but Dave Mustaine singing it some of the time can be a little on the cringe side, depending on the areas in the track. So, yeah, 4.5 out of 5. Side 2 is for the rest of the album, which is from track 7 to 11, which is for Endgame is the first one I'm going to talk about. And the title track itself. And that was a pretty solid track. I like it instrumentally. 
Dave Mustaine's vocals, I'm not sure about on this one, so it's hit or miss with me. So, 4.5 out of 5. The Hardest Part of Letting Go, Sealed with a Kiss, is another solid track. It's got great instrumentation in it, and just Dave Mustaine singing it is eh, solid in its own way. It's good, but could be a little bit better in my opinion, but hey, that's just me, I guess, so, uh, 4.5 out of 5, Head Crusher was really good instrumentally, I think when you get to the ending to the album, that's where the album starts getting really good, in my opinion, so, Head Crusher was a really rocking song, really liked the fast pace drum work and guitar work, and just the way Dave Mustaine is singing it, it Fits perfectly with the track with his vocals. So, 5 out of 5. How the Story Ends is another strong track I really enjoyed. I like it instrumentally, I guess you could say. And um, Dave Mustaine's vocals, like I said. I know I'm repeating the same thing, and I'm trying not to. It's just, this is how I review my albums. Or these albums, or whatever I meant to say do these album reviews and all that, it's just how I go about trying to make you guys entertained with this video a little bit, so yeah, How the Story Ends was a pretty strong track in my opinion, it's pretty good vocally from Dave Mustaine, and uh, guitar work and drum work is pretty strong, the verses and the chorus are pretty interesting, so the song rocks for sure, 5 out of 5. The Right to Go Insane is another final, is the final track on the album, for the whole album, of course, and this was pretty strong. I wasn't sure if I was feeling for the opening part of the song, but then it started picking up and getting a lot faster towards the end of the song, and I'm like, hmm, this is pretty good. So, really liking this song. It has a weak... Uh, first half, but then it picks up, and it gets better, so 5 out of 5. Um, overall, production, mixing, and execution-wise, I think Megadeth's 2009 album, Endgame, was pretty good. I was really impressed with this album, and not really hating Dave Mustaine's vocals in this album. There are some tracks I'm on the fence with, but other than that, Pretty strong album, so overall, in my opinion, I think Megadeth Endgame, their 2009 album, was pretty good. Definitely recommend checking it out, and sorry about my throat being scratchy, it's just, yeah, it's, my throat's getting scratchy, I don't know, I just started coughing a bit this morning, and I'm like, I hope I don't get sick again, so... Yeah, first score for me, I was looking at something outside, so please forgive me. First score for me, I'm giving Megadeth Endgame album, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. This was a pretty good listen. Like I said, highly recommend you check this album out. And yeah, that's going to be it for this album review. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Megadeth Endgame album, if you've listened to it. And if you did enjoy this album review, I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. I know some people may say, oh, you could go into better explanation with your reviews. I'm like, this is how I can go into explanation with these songs. Um, but still. Yeah, if you did enjoy this uh, Megadeth Endgame album review that I did for you guys, comment below. And let me know what you guys thought of this album review that I did for you guys. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can. Support the channel. I'll have another Megadeth album review coming out Monday for 13. And then it'll be Super Collider on the 22nd. And then the final one, Dystopia, will be on the 24th, of course, Thanksgiving. Which I hope you guys do have a great Thanksgiving, so I'll have only one video out for you guys that day. And then I'm just going to focus on doing other stuff around my house and all that, like chores and other things like that. But still, yeah, um, with my reviews, I try to go into explanation with the track as best as I can. 
in my own personal way and how I felt about the song. But still, I know some of people are criticizing how I'm going about my reviews, and I'm like, eh, it's whatever. So, yeah, I know some people might say, oh, you should have a script for how you say certain uh, things in your reviews and all that. I'm like, that's true, but this is how I go about my reviews in my personal opinion. So hopefully you can respect that and understand where I'm coming from. But until then, stay safe, guys. Take care. Hope you enjoyed this 12th studio album review I did for Megadeth Endgame. For this Marathon Studio album review, the next one's on Monday, so definitely tune into that. And as always, I will see you in my next review.